Uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the other side of the coin and welcome to your latest Chelsea news, Chelsea transfer news, Chelsea gossips, Chelsea all that. Look, I actually wanted to spend a lot more time in regards to the press conference that Enzo Maresca and Reese James had yesterday. Uh, I wanted to spend more time on that uh, and which we will. But obviously, one of the breaking news that's popping off at the moment, ladies and gentlemen, is Chelsea are very close to buying a new goalkeeper. And it goes with the name of Philip Jorgensen. Some of you guys might be aware of the news already coming from Fabrizio Romano and many other outlets as well. Uh, looks like this is the goalkeeper we're getting. Look, I'm not going to spend too much time on this particular topic because, honestly, I don't know anything about this goalkeeper. And if I'm being absolutely honest, some of the signings that we've done this window, I don't know much about them. And I'm just hoping that I get a glimpse of them in the preseason and see what they turn out to be in the upcoming season. Hopefully, they turn out to be monsters. That's all I can say. I can't sit here and actually assess what level of you know, players these guys are and what level of goalkeeper Philip Jorgensen is. I see mixed reactions in, in social media. Some people are saying he's very good on the ball, but some are also saying from a shot-stopping point of view, he's another kepper. So let's see. Let's see what happens. But the bottom line is, ladies and gentlemen, he's going to be signed by Chelsea Football Club. Looks like it is almost imminent. Chelsea have reached an agreement with Philip Jorgensen's camp on personal terms with a long-term contract ready Chelsea want to be fast, and the player has started following Chelsea on Instagram. When you follow Chelsea on Instagram, yeah, you're, you're, it's, it's over. You're, you're going to be Chelsea player. That's it. That's the bottom line. Um, so, yeah, uh, Philip Jorgensen, ladies and gentlemen, let me know your thoughts. This came from Fabrizio Romano literally three hours ago, and the latest at the moment is Chelsea are expected to agree a fee of around £20.9 for Philip Jorgensen, with the final details left to be agreed uh, and and this was coming from a couple of other different journalists. And as you can see, Fabrizio Romano has given his um, his blessings, and he knows that this is this is uh, imminent. This is going to happen. So yeah, look, all I'm going to say is that every window we seem to get goalkeepers, and um, you know we've we've stacked up with Kepa and and Petrovic and Sanchez. Now we're going to add Philip Jorgensen. Are we going to be in the same mix in you know situation next? Uh, transfer window we're looking for more goalkeepers because we're not satisfied so let's hope that philip jorgensen can uh, compete with robert sanchez looks like robert sanchez will be the number one goalkeeper we'll see whether philip jorgensen becomes number one goalkeeper i don't know but at the moment robert sanchez looks like the number one and then philip jorgensen can probably compete from a ball playing point of view he meets he meets um you know uh, enzo Mariska's, um yeah, style i suppose which means Petrovic, unfortunately, will have to be sold. And hopefully we can make, we make some money out of it because at the end of the day, that, that's the model. That's the model. We need to make money out of all of these players. And, of course, Kepa needs to go as well. Now, I want to spend more time in regards to the press conference. I thought it was a sensational press conference, really well-spoken Enzo Maresca. The way he handled the business in regards to Enzo Fernandez, the way he handled questions in regards to many other stuff, I thought it was very well um played by Enzo Maresca and, and uh, someone who looks like he has a bit of authority, someone who looks like he has a bit of control. You know, he's not a pushover. He knows what he's doing. He's an Italian uh, at the end of the day. So, you know, you can't be, you can't just push them over. So it was good to see that he's, you know, quite, quite strong uh, in his mannerism and how he is uh, letting out the information to the fans. I thought that was very good to see. And, um, yeah, let's see. Let's see how he, he continues at Chelsea Football Club. Let's see exactly what happens in the preseason, how his football comes into fruition. Um, I think it's very important to um, yeah see all of that. And Reese James as well. Uh, his his, his uh, you know comments in the press conference were equally interesting as well. So let's go through uh, some of the key points. We're not going to go through the entire press conference, but some of the key points. Obviously, one of the hottest topic is in regards to Enzo Fernandez. I thought he handled that so well Enzo Maresca the way he just came out and just squashed any sort of ill feeling towards the situation look we all know we all know it's a problematic situation however we also know Enzo Fernandez has come forward apologized Chelsea have had to say what they've had to say and the matter is closed so from now on we need to move on and we have to also understand it's not just Enzo Fernandez but people keep forgetting there was a lot of other people in the bus 
uh, it was his entire teammates, the entire squad that was singing that that derogatory song, you know, banter. But it's it's not just about the Argentinian team. It seems to be a problem in Argentina. This is how they operate over there. So we have to understand from that perspective, how do we handle this situation? Hopefully, Enzo Fernandez, knowing that our, our current players, they've been the, the French black players that we have in our team, they've been offended by it. And hopefully, Enzo Fernandez understands that perspective. And that's what it comes down to. It's all about understanding. Enzo Mariska on Enzo Fernandez, the player made a statement and apologized, and the club also gave a statement. There is nothing to add. The situation is clear. I love it. I love it. For anyone out there who wants to create more commotion in regards to this matter, I think we now need to forget it. Hopefully, the players can move on. When Enzo Fernandez joins the uh, team, I think um, Enzo Mariska stated that it was going to be on the 29th of July. Hopefully, it's all cleared. Players can look at each other and work together and collaborate because this upcoming season, yeah, we, we don't have any room to mess about. Enzo Mariska on Enzo Fernandez. I don't think so. There will be difficulties when he comes back. I don't think when Enzo will be back that will uh, that will have any problems. There is nothing to add. They are not bad people or bad human beings. I think this is something that we need to understand. And I've st stated this when the incident happened. I don't truly think Enzo Fernandez is a racist human being. Like... What he's done is wrong, and I hope he learns from it, that it, it offends a lot of people. But the bottom line is, I don't think we can label this guy as a bad guy, as a racist guy. This is how he operates. He doesn't come across that type of a person. And this is exactly what Enzo Mariska is stating. He's not a bad human being. Like, he's made a mistake. He said sorry. Hopefully, he learns from this, never does this again, and we move on. And as I said, this is an Argentina problem. Like, not even football. This is an Argentina cultural problem. Um, and we need to we need to understand that. Enzo Marisco and Enzo Fernandez is back. When Enzo Fernandez is back, I spoke with Enzo. The player already released a statement apologizing. It is quite clear. When is he due to arrive? The 29th, I think. So hopefully, um, I believe uh, the 29th, that, that should be the next. So we've got the game against Wrexham today. Um, the one after is Celtic. He may be back for that, or maybe the one after that. He, he'll potentially be back for that. So hopefully there is no issue. Enzo Mariska on Trevor Chalaba. Once again, look, very well handled. Explained the whole situation to the T. And uh, yeah, look, we can sit here and be upset about Trevor Chalaba. I know I was. The bottom line is the club has made it quite clear for a while that Trevor Chalaba, you're not in the plans. On the other side, Trevor Chalaba wanted to change that thought process of Chelsea football coming I mean, just didn't turn out to happen. And now Trevor Chalaba needs to move on. And, and that's how we need to view the whole situation. First of all, from my point of view, it's always sad to leave players out of preseason because in the end, they work very hard day for the same target. Uh, very, uh, They work every day for the same target. They work very hard every day for the same target. To be part of the team, we have Axel there. Toss him there. Wesley is finally back. And some young players like Josh Achenpong. I think he really rates Josh Achenpong. And I know a lot of you guys rate Josh Achenpong as well. So it's good to see that another youngster is getting built up. It's a sad decision, but we had to make it. And he also went on to say, this is why I'm here, to make these sort of decisions. So, um, yeah, I'm keen to see. Look, Enzo Mariska, I know we have this. I, I know I had this vision that, look, he's just here to basically, um, you know, coach the team. All sorts of managing uh, decisions are going to come from the hierarchy, but maybe not. Maybe, maybe you know, the fact that he's been given a five-year contract, maybe he will have some weight in regards to what happens in the football club. And he needs to. Uh, it needs to be a collaboration between the manager, between the sporting directors and the owners. Everyone needs to be on the same page um, or else... And I think Enzo Mariska in his latest interview with ESPN, that, that's also circulating around, maybe we can cover that another day, um, states that every stakeholder needs to be in the same page or else it's simply not going to work out. Josh Achimpong is regarded as an elite homegrown prospect on the right side of defense and taking him to U.S. gives new head coach Enzo Mariska more time to work closely with him in training. So that's good. Um uh, gives us fans who don't watch the academy players on a day-to-day -day basis the opportunity to um, see these type of players in the in the preseason and let's see what what he can bring. Look, I don't expect him to break into the first team and become a monster, but this is all good experience and hopefully um, 
every now and then he gets those odd minutes here and there when possible uh, just to give the flavor of the first team um football and has got on inverted fullbacks we won't necessarily invert the left so a lot of people we've been thinking maybe it's Kukurea who's going to invert but not necessarily it might be on the right side with Reese James and I'm a little bit skeptical about that but I feel like Reese James's best qualities is to bomb forward and produce those crosses but then again he could potentially do those deep crosses as well and and uh, we've seen um Reese James being able to play in midfield for Wigan when he was on loan years ago so it'll be interesting to see exactly how Reese James turns out and maybe from a injury point of view this might be better for Reese James as opposed to running up and down the channel um but uh, yeah I, I feel like Reese James when he does get into those attacking areas on that right side he overlaps or he gets into the edge of the box on that right side very dangerous situations um Reece James is a quality player from those angles um so we'll see if he's given the license to at times to do that and go forward, or is he specifically going to be ordered to stay in midfield? Let's see what happens. We won't necessarily invert the left. I have seen a lot of Reese James, and he can do that, and we have been trying it, and Malagusto can do it as well, but so can Mark and Renato. So we are trying both sides. So good. I'm very keen to see how the tactical side of things pans out in this preseason and then the new season coming up. When it's really very, very serious. Enzo Maresca on Christo and Cuckoo, Christopher and Cuckoo. I love this conversation. And you could see Enzo Maresca's eyes light up when he was talking about Nkunku. I think he's going to really enjoy a player like Nkunku. And I think Nkunku is going to flourish under Enzo Maresca. Um, big season ahead. Hopefully he stays fit. And if that is the case, if Christopher and Kunku stays fit for the entire season, we could have a serious, serious baller in our hand and potentially someone who could be the difference maker at Chelsea Football Club. And Kunku can play everywhere. He's doing very well already. By the way, this question was from uh, Feroz. Big up to our main man, Feroz, for asking this question. Some, some of the questions um, that other people like Feroz and George Benson was there as well, far better than the journalist question. So big up to both of them, especially Feroz. He's doing very well already. He can play number nine winger attacking midfielder he can play everywhere i see football with player able to play in several positions i want players to develop and play in several positions if you guys remember the tactical video ryan and i did a month ago when enzo maresca was uh, appointed we stated and ryan specifically stated that enzo maresca is going to want players that are able to play in multiple positions because the angles you're going to create the overloads you're going to create it's going to put players in Areas that they probably haven't been in, in, in previously with other managers. So they have to be very comfortable in many different positions, technically, and of course, you know, from 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 a from a from a ball playing point of view as well. So um hopefully, hopefully uh, many other players are able to adapt that. But I do think Christopher Nkunku is a particular player that is gonna relish that man. He's able to play literally anywhere in the front three or in that midfield area as that attacking midfielder i think he's going to be a firecracker honestly he's going to be a fire a firecracker reese james now he, he his his part in the interview was nice as well to hear from reese james um i've just specifically taken out this particular comment in regards to the red cards that he's um you know that he that he got last season um which obviously means this season he's going to serve a ban earlier on in the season. So he should be, like, once he's ready to go, he should be absolutely fit and ready to uh, take on the opposition. I'm one to push the boundaries, and sometimes it costs the team. It's something I'm trying to work on. So good to see the maturity from Maurice James. Hopefully this season, and he's mentioned this on in the uh, in the in the press conference as well. His first goal for this season. They were asking Reece James, "What are your goals?" I, and it was good to hear that Reece James said, "My goal is to stay on the pitch, stay on the field as long as he can. Don't get injured. Don't get into these silly situations where you pick up red cards." And if Reese James can manage to play more games for Chelsea, I believe we will have success. So good to see and hear that from Reese James. Let's see if there's anything else latest that's popping off uh, in regards to Jorgensen. Nothing at the moment. Uh, so look, I think I think Philip Jorgensen will be the next goalkeeper. Do look out for the watch along. I had to buy. Uh, I, I didn't know whether. Um, fans from outside of uk and ireland could actually purchase so but, but i did see yesterday that there was an option that you can purchase so i've purchased it from the fifth stand up so if you want to watch the wrexham game wrexham game um today 
do do purchase that from the fifth fifth stand app or if you've got any other ways of watching then watch it there will be a watch along so I'm excited to see exactly how Chelsea perform in the first um preseason game and and, and see the work that they've been doing under Enzo Maresca so it should be it should be a very very fun watch along smash the like button if you're here for the first time subscribe hit the bell notification to stay in touch with all my content until next time take care see ya bye